This man is buying a feature, much like I am, that he wants to use, and he's got to get prepared to get made fun of on the internet. This is like middle school, guys. This is this is like this is some childish. I, I don't understand how adults could do this in 2023. Like, act your age. Hello, back with another video. We're going to be talking about social media stuff. I'm telling you, man, I haven't talked about social media things in a very, very long time. If you don't know my channel, I used to cover this stuff all the time back in the days of Web 2.0. And here we are now in Web 3.0 land uh, where I haven't talked much about Web 3, but I have done a couple of podcast episodes where I was uh, dabbling into the world of blockchain and NFTs and talking about it, my learning experiences. But that's another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Twitter. And um, we're going to talk about the Twitter verified story because it is it is the hottest topic on Twitter right now, hottest topic in social media. I think it's time for me to start talking about this stuff again because I think it's important. Just so you know what's going on. Today, it says on this tweet tomorrow, we're removing legacy verified check marks to remain verified on Twitter. Individuals can sign up for Twitter blue here. Organizations can sign up for verified organizations here. So what does that mean? That means that the little check mark that you used to see on Twitter for people, for celebrities and renowned people and people of, of importance that don't want to be impersonated. That was like the intent of Twitter verified when it first came out. Um, those individuals will be losing their check mark unless they subscribe to Twitter Blue, which is eight dollars a month. No, Brenner, it's eleven dollars per month. Well, let me let me give you a little secret. Don't subscribe on your phone. Go go to the website. It's cheaper on there because you don't have to pay the the mobile fees to to Google and and Apple. Yeah, it's, it's actually eight dollars a month. Anyway, um, so today's that day, and many many individuals have went on record and are proud to proclaim that I do not have the check mark. I will not buy this feature. Right? So there's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of people who are who are adamant and very, very strong willed about it. So what is Twitter Blue and why are they adamant about it? Let's talk about that. Twitter Blue is a premium service that is not new. It has been around for a while. It has some premium features that kind of give you like a little bit of a leg up that other people don't have. And uh, there's a lot of cool features. And I'm telling you, the biggest one that caught my attention with Twitter Blue is this right here. You can edit your tweet up to 30 minutes after posting it with Twitter Blue. This is a very, very good feature. And you know what's really weird is that a lot of people don't know it exists. Hmm, they don't know it exists. A lot of people seem to think that Twitter Blue is just buying a check mark. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is I want to tell you that Twitter Blue is much more than a check mark. If you see value in it, it's very important. So edit tweet. You see half the ads. I, I have, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have nothing to gauge this from. I have no way to measure this. So I'm just going to say you can ignore that pit. You can ignore that bullet. Seeing half the ads, you know what? We're just going to assume that that's not true. All right. Longer tweets. This is something that's fairly new. You can turn Twitter to a blog now. This uh this removes the the necessity the necessity the necessity for tweet longer. So now if you want to have a longer tweet, you can type a, a book and it'll say click here to view the whole tweet. It'll show you only the first 280 characters or so and then you have to click to view more to see the whole thing. Uh, you can also compose longer tweets in quote tweet or reply. So now you can only do that with Twitter Blue. You can now bold and italicize text on your tweets. I didn't even know that. I don't use that, but I'm going to start. Uh, you can do bookmark folders. Bookmarks are very, very useful because the, the algorithm will change the, the things that it shows you based on what you like. And I'm a person I like to use likes as a bookmark. Right. So that's my fault for trying to use likes as a bookmark. So I'm going to use I've been using bookmarks to bookmark things instead of actually liking them and say, show me more like this. Custom app icons, I don't care about that. In NFT profile pictures, don't care about that, but that's something you can do. If you have NFTs and you want to make your hexagonal profile picture, there was a, listen, much like what's happening today with the blue check mark, it was happening with the NFT profile pictures. People were actually getting made fun of. 
It is, it's just kind of wild to see. Uh, Twitter blue themes, you can do that if you want to. Custom navigation, uh, spaces tab, top articles. I've used this a couple times. Uh, you've got the reader experience. You could undo a tweet. This is very useful. Very, very useful. Uh, you can retract the tweet after you sent it, but before it's visible to others. It's like a 30, it's like 20, 30 second little countdown. When you click tweet, it's like, all right, and we're sending it. You better make sure you don't want to send it. All right, we're sending it. Because a lot of times you don't notice things until you've already clicked the send tweet, just like the edit things. Like they give you 30 minutes to, to, to go back. Uh, prior to rankings and conversations to search, longer video upload. This is something that I really like. I've, I've hit that limit multiple times when trying to upload like clips of my 3D prints or just any video. It's like, this video is too long. And I'm just like, what the heck, man? And you can use SMS two-factor. This is more of a legacy, um, just so people are clear. Don't use SMS two-factor. All right. Use use a hardware key. Use like a Yubi key. Use, use, use. You know, use an app on your phone if you if you must. I recommend a hardware key. Uh, don't use SMS. They put this under blue for people who refuse to move away from it. Everybody else can't use SMS, but if you just gotta have SMS two factor, it's here for blue. All right, but don't use it. Just take it from your boy. Get get off of SMS. Anywhere you have SMS two factor, get off of it quickly because it is not secure. So those are all the features that you get from Twitter Blue uh, that are not the check mark. Okay, so what's happening on Twitter right now? People are, uh, this happened when it was announced, but people are openly making fun of anybody who is paying for Twitter Blue. There's a meme going around with it. They basically call you out and saying, why are you paying for Blue? You're paying for Blue. Look at this idiot. He's paying for Blue, right? And I, I really, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on in the world, man. I, I really don't get it. Because you see this in gaming, right? You do see this in gaming. But a lot of times it's with younger folks. That was, a, that, was a, that was an oddly appropriate sound. A lot of times it's with younger folks. It's like this, this insecurity thing that manifests itself that somebody is jealous of what you have. So they, mm, they say, no, you shouldn't do that. Uh, we see it in Call of Duty all the time when somebody's using an overpowered gun and they're killing everybody. Like, oh, you suck for using that gun. You suck for using that that overpowered thing. Why are you using that? You're stupid. Look at this guy. He's using the overpowered thing. So it's like an insecurity outcry to say, I don't like what you're doing, so I'm going to say something to, to stop you from using it. You notice I haven't talked about the Musk at all. I haven't talked about Elon Musk at all. Right? I'm just talking about the Twitter features that it offers. And like I said, Twitter Blue is not anything new. It's been around a while. I'm just talking about the features. What they're doing is that they're lumping the check mark into it now. Which I have mixed feelings about. I'm like, okay, I applied for the check mark, I think, three times. Even though I met all the requirements, I was denied. And they didn't tell me why. Right. Other people who had less than me, less influence, less everything, and this is this is not insecurity talking, this is just metrics, they got immediately verified. So it was a very much very uh, a similar system to like Twitter or uh, uh, Twitch partner. Where you're just like, what am I doing wrong? What, uh, it was a very, very subjective thing when you got the, the, the check mark. And as politics entered into the arena, I'm going to be very careful talking about this. As politics entered into the arena, Twitter was clearly skewed towards a certain side of the politics, political spectrum, right? It was very, very apparent that those individuals who were on that same political spectrum were not only more considered for the check mark, but there were more of these people getting a check mark when they were applying than the other side. I'm not saying I'm on either side, right? I'm not even talking about one. I'm just talking about this is what the, the, the metrics were showing. People who were on one side of the political spectrum were getting sort of a kind of like more consideration than the people who weren't. So it was kind of a mess. And Twitter turned into kind of a cesspool, especially over the last two years, not just with that arena, but there was a lot of other things that they were doing, which reminded me of TikTok. If you don't know what I'm talking about with TikTok, there was a lot of these unbalanced actions that was taken by the moderation team that didn't make real, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And TikTok still does it today where people get banned for saying certain things that shouldn't be bannable. 
there's nothing there's nothing in anything that says you get banned for that. And they use these vague, vague uh, reasons for giving that. And it was just it was really messed up. It's like, I just said this. Why am I getting banned? So there was there was a skewing towards this really unbalanced moderation system on Twitter. Right. And then Elon Musk came around and his reasoning behind taking over Twitter was because he didn't like that. He said that we should have free speech. Whether you agree with that or not, that's what he said. I'm just trying to give you the factual based stuff. I'm, I'm sprinkling my opinion in there, but he said he wanted free speech. So it's like he clearly saw that Twitter was skewing to one side and not the other in a lot of different er- arenas. Right. So he bought it, pulled out, got sued, had to buy it anyway. Long story short, um, Twitter was bleeding money. Twitter is bleeding money. Twitter was a failed business model. It was losing money at an astronomical rate. Everybody knew that at the time. People seem to forget that now. But before he bought them, everybody knew that Twitter was a financial mess. Um, so what Elon is trying to do now, trying very hard, is to try to make Twitter profitable. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. One of the things he's doing to make Twitter profitable is to put the blue check mark behind verification. Now, people are like, oh, you can just buy the check mark and say I'm, I'm the president of the United States, which people were doing when it first happened. Right. And I agree that that was the way they released this. Is very indicative of how Elon runs uh, Tesla and SpaceX. They are very, they do fast iterations, and there's a lot of messy things that happen along the way. But they iterate really, 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 really fast, and things get fixed relatively quickly compared to their competitors. But it's a messy process to get there. We saw that with Twitter. It was just like boom, boom, boom. The site would break. It, it, things would not work. You wouldn't see anything, and all of a sudden it would start working. And it was just like this fast, fast iteration. So now we're at a place where if you try to buy a check mark, it's not as easy to impersonate the president of the United States as it was when it first came out. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's not as easy. So it's kind of in a usable state. Um, so is Twitter verification that verified and Twitter blue perfect right now? I don't think it is. But what I what I find very troubling, and this is the reason why I'm making this video, is that there are people out there that are purposefully shaming people for having it. Whether they're doing it by proclaiming that they're not using it in a way to kind of make you feel belittled, like, oh, I'm using it. So what does that make of me? And, and then there's people like just openly going out. Oh, you're using the blue check mark. You, 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 you signed up for Twitter blue. What the heck are you doing? Why are you so stupid? Why are you supporting this? Why are you doing that? And basically just boom, 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 attack you, which is a lot what happens on the Internet when people don't agree with what you're doing, which in the past Twitter would ban you for that. If you retaliated that, Twitter would ban you. So it's just like, it's crazy. So I feel like I'm in middle school, man. This is this is some very immature tribalism that's going on. And I just showed you the feature list of Twitter Blue. There's a lot of things in there that are worth the $8 a month that are not the check mark. Whether you think they're valuable or not is irrelevant to me because I just point out like five things on there that I like about it. Right. And I think are worth it. But I just happen to have a check mark to go along with it, which I think is a bonus because I wanted to have the check mark. I thought it was, hey, that's a bonus. That's good. People can say that, hey, that's the buona. That's the, you know, that's buona, you know, and it looks good. Everybody likes a verified check mark. Um, but there's a lot of things in there that are, I think are worth the money. So I don't, I really hate it. I don't like it. I don't like, I'm talking about the action, not the people. I don't like ridiculing people for making a purchase decision. And we see it all the time in the video game realm. Though you gamers out there know. I see it in the 3D printing realm. People are ridiculing people for making purchase decisions. You bought the Prusa MK4. Ooh, what was your, you bought the this this printer, the bamboo. Ooh, uh, you know. Why y'all can't just leave people alone, man? Just let people buy what they want to buy and talk about what they love. And if you don't like it, you don't have to stay. You really don't. The Internet is a wide and vast place. You can control what you see and what you can't see. And there's a lot of sites out there, including Twitter, that say, hey, I don't like this tweet. You can click the little three dots and say, I don't want to see this. I I don't like attacking people. I don't. I don't like attacking people publicly. I don't like attacking people privately for the purchase decisions. Like there's companies out there that do things that I don't like, you know, and I make a conscious decision to not purchase from those companies. But I don't go after the people who do. I might in, in some conversation say, this is why I'm not doing it, you know, and this is why. And I feel strongly about that. But they go, oh, I'm, I'm going to still buy from them. I'm like, all right. 
I'm not gonna say what you're doing is right, but I'm gonna say, okay, cool. You're doing that, I'm doing this. So it's really stupid. It's really stupid. I, I even saw like uh, a couple tweets. People were feeling, they were like, okay, I'm gonna get made fun of because of, I think it was Marquise Brownlee. He was like, uh, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. He was like, oh, I'm gonna get made fun of because I got the check mark, but I gotta have my edit tweet feature. It's like, oh well, I'm gonna get made fun of. It's like, oh crap, I'm gonna I'm like, why why does he even have to say that? Like, this man is buying a feature, much like I am, that he wants to use, and he's gotta get prepared to get made fun of on the internet. This is like middle school, guys. This is this is like this is some childish. <sighs> I don't understand how adults can do this in 2023. Like, act your age. For real, act your age. This is this is this is so childish and so stupid. I can't, it's hard to even articulate it that we've been talking about this. Like, what kind of maturity meters do we have on these people? That you have to go out and do this. And I that's this is one of the reasons why I don't like politics. Because the truth of the matter is, is that politics is fueling a lot of this because there's certain sides of the spectrum political spectrum that absolutely hate Elon Musk. So everything he does is put under a microscope and is amplified, right? This is one of those things. So now, much like other political things, if you have a blue check mark, you are pro Elon Musk. This, this is a labeling thing that's going on. You get labeled. Like I said, this is middle school, schoolyard stuff that I can't believe adults are doing. You get labeled as something well, this guy has a blue check mark, so I'm going to unfollow him. Like that—that's actually where we are right now. People are, and, there, and I don't know if you guys have seen this. There are actually there were apps that were created that would out people, and when you clicked on their profile, if they paid for this was before they separated. If they paid for Twitter Blue, it would tell you that this person is a blue subscriber, so that you could openly ridicule them. They openly did that. You know, it was the same thing with the the Harry Potter game. You guys remember that the uh, the Harry Potter game that came out? That they were actually people who built applications to oust people who played the video game. We're in a sad state, guys. It really is. I mean, I was there in the beginnings of Twitter. I was there at the very very beginnings of Twitter. My account is very old. I I remember the the the, the, the first days of social media. It was very exciting. We got to talk to a lot of people. We got to meet a lot of new people. It has grown to to proportions that I can't even imagine right now. Like Twitter is the spot for media, whether people want to believe it or not, whether people want to, to, to you know hate Elon or hate the company, Twitter is the spot. People go to Twitter more than they go to CNN, MSNBC, Fox. They go to Twitter, okay? And there's a lot of, I, I guess the word is, there's a the, the tribalism is a good word, but there's a lot of divisiveness that's going on. And as a content creator, I have to use Twitter. You, you really have no choice. You have to use Twitter to kind of get your stuff out there. And if you look at my Twitter account, you notice that I don't really, I don't post a lot of stuff that I wouldn't say on my stream. I don't post a lot of stuff that I wouldn't I normally say to my wife. I wouldn't, you know, I don't post that stuff. And I don't attack people. I attack Etsy because... You guys haven't seen the video, but I, I went after Etsy because they've been they've been messing with my shop. That is kind of confusing. It's like I don't have any listings, but I'm getting copyright claims. So I'm just like, Etsy, what's going on with that? That's not me really attacking Etsy for having the blue check mark. That's attacking Etsy for their service, you know, breaking on me. So if you see somebody with a blue check mark, I, I'm I'm just humbly asking you to just chill. You know, don't don't openly judge that person. Don't make assumptions. Don't take baggage from previous conversations that you saw with somebody who was very, very pro Elon. That was very, very pro checkmark that said some obnoxious things. Don't take that conversational baggage and apply it to someone else who has that kind of thing. Exercise some kind of mental discernment to say that person is not that person. Please, if you could do that for me, that would be awesome. This is one from one not TV. I just want to talk about the Twitter verified shenanigans and the Twitter verified drama. It's really stupid. That's the only word I can think of. It's really stupid that this is happening. And I really hope that it it passes over. But something tells me it's not going to. Something tells me that it's going to get fueled with more, even more, more fire 
and uh, it's going to get worse. So I, I really hope that doesn't happen. But you know what? I, I'm glad that does happen is that I have some awesome Patreons. Look at these wonderful people at patreon.com slash one. Thank you so much for being so such great subscribers, such great supporters. These guys support me every month. They give me their hard earned bread and money to make content like this, to 3D print, to play games, to do all kinds of cool stuff. So check them out over at patreon.com slash one. Thank you so much for being part of my community and thanks for helping me out. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.